Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Got some more AI the Somnium files. Um, timey time or eyeball time. I don't know why I keep calling the timey. Uh, does Santa really exist? Okay, so who are we making? Let's see. We're making trying to make somebody brave. Okay. Um, does Santa really exist? Time to get out the old gotcha guides. <laughs> Let's see, Santa. Santa really exist? I'm Santa. Apparently, I am Santa. Seems, uh, seems legit. Nice. Good. Uh, put the notifications back on. Okay, so last video, it was, uh, it was quite the big fucking revelation. Pretty much, Gen is hiding a body inside the freezer. And, uh, not sure who he's hiding in there, because I... Maybe you guys recognized him, but I... Definitely didn't. Yeah, somehow. I don't know. I have no idea who it is. We need to go shopping for ingredients. Right, we're out. You're going now? There's a 24 hour supermarket nearby. It is past midnight. The date is February 15th. You guys are trying to leave after I found this body inside your freezer? What? Yeah, I don't think so. Nice try, though. Nothing. I've never seen this person before. I remember it was around sunrise on the 13th. I got a call from Genny. I've been buddies with Genny for a long time. I can't narc on my bro. That would make me a total scumbag. Why would I do that? True. Actually, if my friend showed me a body inside his apartment, would I do? Would I say anything? Probably not. Probably wouldn't say anything. But uh, that's a very fucking. That's a very specific question. What are you dumb? Why is that a dumb question? If Genny did this, why would he show me the body? And it's not like he killed me or anything after. That is a fair point. In the Somnium earlier, Gen was surprised to see the body. Then why didn't Genny call the police? Well. I have my reasons. What the hell does that mean? Well, Genny, what do you have to say about it? How long has the corpse been in there? Uh, it's been in there two days, right? Uh, I don't know how long it's been here. Uh, this is your business, isn't it? How can you tell me you don't know? We have no idea. <laughs> the identity of the corpse. What are you guys so useless for? Their face does not match any Nobody's answering anything. In our database. Just like All casually, like, nope, no idea. Is that this is the left half of their body, and their face has a very distinct marking. Looks like yeah, a birthmark. By looking. Who killed them? Yeah, um, I don't think they're gonna know any of this, but sure. How would I know? With the corpse being cut in half, the culprit is almost certainly terror. Who happens to be, uh, Mr. Uh, Elon Musk. The cut section is similar to uh, yeah, Jin. covered bodies. Which would mean this person was sliced in half in the basement of Horridori Institute. Most likely. I remember Boss saying... Yeah, yeah. Five, five different, different DNA. DNA. Which means it's there might be another yet, yet undiscovered, undiscovered victim. Why is there a corpse in the freezer? I mean, I don't think they're gonna know any of this, but I guess we'll ask anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't know. The body just... out of nowhere. Are you serious? You're still gonna play this game? Do I look like I'm playing games? Well, <laughs> well, I think it was you about see. six years ago. Six years? I lost the key. Uh, hold on. Are you trying to act suspicious? You wouldn't just leave your freezer locked for six years. It's common sense. With that acknowledged, it is clear that the body was not frozen recently. It shows signs of being frozen for at least several years. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. No, I think it's pretty justified, actually. I'm, I'm on Mizuki's side on this Honestly, one. Honestly, I don't want to accuse you of anything. But your story makes no sense. It doesn't add up. Could you please tell me more? Mizuki, let's move. SAT is on their way here. What? Why the SAT? No, not the SATs. I had to do those years ago. Don't make me do them again. Also, got, I just got an achievement. Um, appendix updated. So I must have found... Is the appendix fully updated? No. Why did it say... Wait, what's this achievement supposed to be? 
Uh, collect more than 90 appendix files, okay. Yeah, there's, there's still some appendixes we haven't unlocked yet. There's still some appendixes. Hey, it's a taxi driver. I believe Boss called them. She was monitoring the Somnium earlier. So Boss knows there's a corpse here. Right. But why would she call the SAT? This is getting annoying. Uh, Genny? What's wrong? The police are on their way. The SAT. The special assault team. What the- Eavesdropping? Screw this. I don't want any part of it. Sorry, but I'm out of here. Wait, Leon! Hey, come on! What? Let go of me! Leon! Let's go. Yeah. Genny sounds really upset. <laughs> yeah, Genny sounds like he's gonna. He's, he doesn't sound very happy at all. What's all this? Amame, get inside Brahmin. Uh, okay. Don't you think this is a bit much? It's not like there's a monster on the loose. That's exactly why we're here. We were told that there were two monsters here, and one of them might be related to Terra. So we're here to detain them. Are they talking about Genny? Most likely. Who's the other person? You, ma'am. We were told you might resist. Normal police can't handle you. What? Which is why we were called in. Boss, boss, why in every game are you trying to fucking put the shit on me? Who told you all this? Why are you doing this to me, boss? The leader of Abyss, Miss Kuranushi. Damn. She's got me there. Do you plan to resist arrest? I don't like how these guys use violence to get what they want. So yeah, I'm not going down without a fight. That is quite the contradiction. Hey, quit wasting time. Let's do this. Uh-huh. You're gonna put up a fight, aren't you? He did it again. He's listening to our conversation. Let's do this. Mizuki, you take care of the guys over there. I'll take care of these guys. Got it! What are you fucking shooting her? Well, so you're aiming horribly. Quite literally missing out on everything, which is kind of sad. They're shooting, they're shooting like trank rounds or whatever, electrical rounds. Save him first. I think you got him, guys. I think you got him. I don't know what the <laughs> hell is going on, but fine. SAT is all over the street. It would be hard to get through there. But we do. Wait, I have an idea. No time to explain. Mizuki, follow my orders. Equip scatter shot in your revolver. Why? There's no time. Just do it. Uh, okay. Now, tell 
plug in this. There is a vending machine. Throw it to the other side of the street. A vending machine? Yes. It is a vending machine for pornographic magazines. Hurry! Hey, Kenny! You see that vending machine? I get it. That's a good plan. You don't even have to say it. I've got it. Here I go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mizuki, no! Shoot it with scatter shot. Mizuki. Okay. Oh shit, fucking aiming with the controller is so shit, man. God, I hate... They need to up the sensitivity or something. That's what the sense is way too low. Yes, uh, quite. Uh, it's quite the quite the power you got there, Genny. What the? Date? Hmm. That kind of makes sense why he was acting so weird now. And also why he had superpowers from the porno mag. <laughs> we should be safe here for now. You changed clothes? That outfit was so hard to move in. With the wireframe and all the stuffing. It's the only reason those guys were able to beat me up. Forget about that! There's so many questions I need answered. I won't let you leave until I have them. What if I want to use the bathroom? You can't just do that here? What if it's number two? Then I'll feed it to you. Look, all you have to do is talk to me. So let's hear it. Well, you see... Okay, good. Okay, good. I'm glad it's Date and not some, like, clone thing. Because I, I always feel like clones and, like, time travel is always such a cop-out for bad writing. <laughs> so I'm pretty glad that they didn't decide to go down that route. Day of the explosion at the cathedral. I was captured by terror. What? Were you okay? If I wasn't, I wouldn't be here now. When I came to, I didn't know where I was. I don't know why terror captured me. I wasn't sure if he was going to torture me for information and confidential police secrets. Or maybe he just wanted someone to play backgammon with. Anyway, I was held there for a whole day. Then, a white snake slithered into the room. When I saw that, I felt my power churning inside of me. And that's how I was able to break out of the room I was being held in. Wait, wait. What's this about a snake? Oh, the snake? I'll tell you about it some other time. Right, right, yeah, totally. Totally makes sense. I had lost my memory, actually. I think when the ceiling collapsed, something fell in my head. I had completely forgotten that I'm a special agent at Abyss. After I escaped, I wandered around the country. I had no memories, so I took on day labor jobs. Before coming back here, I worked at a hot springs in Atami. So you were there. I really should have drowned him. Yeah, I've got it back now. It was a few days ago when I saw the news about the stadium. February 10th, Jin Furaway's left half being found. At that moment, I remembered everything. About my past, the HB case, everything. But I didn't return to Abyss right away. I decided to start my own investigation. Why? I thought there might be something fishy about Abyss. I thought maybe Terror was involved somehow. <sighs> Didn't he lose his memory uh, in the first game too? I think that was also a uh, common. I think that was also a thing they did, yeah. So that's why you didn't contact us until now. I'm sorry for not telling you right away. You two doing okay? Yeah, you guys are 
Probably not. Probably Mom is not doing too well. <laughs> any, uh, any progress on the investigation? I know that Nyes is trying to do something crazy, but I still haven't been able to find terror. The only real lead I have is the body that was found at Brahman, but I don't know who it is or how it got there. I wanted to ask Gen about it. I knew that Horidori Institute and Nyes were involved with the HB case. Gen had connections with Horidori Institute and his acquaintances with Tokiko. So I asked Gen to let me borrow his appearance and his name. I thought it would make it easier for me to investigate Horidori Institute and Nyes. You didn't refuse, Genny? I can't say no to Date. Can't say no to Date, okay. I mean, I'm kind of the same way, Genny, so it's okay. I kind no, of I wanted to investigate empathize else. with you on that one. So I wasn't Gen the whole time. Yesterday, or technically two days ago now, the 13th, that was actually me. It's okay, Amame. I made an oath. I will protect you with my life. So don't you worry about a thing. Super pervert Detective Date. Yeah, he's a pervert, but he's our perverts. That corpse. I carried it to the freezer. I locked it and threw the key into the ocean. Where did you find the corpse? I can't tell you. Even if it means getting arrested, I can't tell you. It's okay, Kenny. Omame. Yeah. No, Omame. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused, Kenny. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> I asked Kenny to carry the corpse to Brahmin six years ago and hide it in the freezer. But why? That body. My father found it. Yonoharu Enda? Mizuki, you know? Oh yeah, I completely forgot that this was uh, actually Shoma's sister. What the fuck? I, that's actually crazy. Did Shoma tell you? That's why she was so fucked up when she saw Komeji in the... the Devita studio that one time. Yeah. Assuming her Kinda makes sense true, when you think about it. That aligns with Terror's diary. The person who took the corpse really was Yonoharu Enda. AKA Andy's Komeji. That's how and why he became a target. My father had a huge debt. He borrowed money from bad people. They told him, Listen, Andy's Komeji, your dear little boy is in elementary school, isn't he? If you don't pay the money you owe in one month, we're taking him and selling him overseas. Am I clear? He was gonna blackmail terror for money? Yes. When he found the body, he was really drunk. He saw Jin Furoway's body at the studio. And then, early the next morning, he found the other corpse at the rooftop amusement park. He told me something came over him, and he just... did it. Six years ago on the 11th, my father called me home. The floorboards were overturned, and in the floor was the suitcase. Shomo wasn't home at the time. My father was just standing there. No expression. The corpse was in that suitcase? Yeah. I think after he sobered up, he realized the mistake he made. He didn't know what to do, so he called me. What happened next? He told me everything that he did. Oh my god! You're so stupid! You know that? You're like the stupidest bottom-feeding dad ever! Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry isn't going to fix this! It's fine. I'll take care of it. So you took the body to Gen's place? Yes. So Genny did nothing wrong. I asked him to do it. A mommy. Hmm, that's uh, quite the story, I have okay. to say. I get it. Quite the story indeed. It's kind of weird to see Mama get upset, by the way. I was not expecting that. Genny was staying quiet to protect you, Mama. But I need to know more. I want to ask one more thing. It's... We can continue this later. This is an emergency. The building has been surrounded. What?
Thanks for the show. A true monster, just like the rumors. It was quite the spectacle. But enough is enough. Our team is equipped with live rounds. Please surrender, or else... Or else what? You gonna shoot us to death? I'd like to see you try. Mizuki, you're being irrational. What are you planning? Flashbang time, baby. At least I think that's a flashbang. <laughs> Do believe that is a flashbang. Them and get past them while they're mobilized. Are you serious? Even if you get past them, what will you do after that? Do you plan on running away forever? All four of us? Mizuki, I agree with Aiba. There's no point trying to fight our way out of this. We should just raise the white flag. Okay. Oh, so that's how Gen... Okay, yeah, because uh, that makes sense why Gen was able to, uh... uh Wait, what the fuck? Mommy! Mommy, are you okay? Yes, but Kenny, here. Don't you worry about me. As long as you're okay. That is. Kenny! Really? That was so stupid. <laughs> the fuck? Kenny! Kenny! Stay with me! Amame, I have a favor to ask. Can you sing me that song? What song? The flower that blooms in snow. longer so I wanted to tell you something this is so stupid I'm sorry but this is like <laughs> so unnecessary also time for the eyeball -y. very awful timing I realize what UMA do I like um 
<laughs> wow, this is really awful timing. <laughs> this is really terrible timing. I like, um... I like Bigfoot, apparently. That's what I like. I don't- I want to be in the NBA. Why, because you're big? The fuck? Yeah, this is like... Before we continue, if Gen is actually dead, this is so dumb. Why do they open fire? What the fuck? NA police. I... I liked you as a friend. At least, that's what I told myself. But I... truly... loved. I just couldn't accept it. Even after I realized it, I acted like a friend. Treated you almost like a daughter. That's how I acted around you. It was the first time in my life I felt like this. I didn't know what to do. Jenny, you're so cute. What about me is cute? I'm as rugged as my name suggests. But I like that about you. I like how big and strong you are. Just being near you makes me feel safe. <laughs> that would change real quick if I took off my mask. No, that's not true. I think your face is nice too. I like you whether or not you have a mask on. She probably likes me as a friend. Or maybe it's something more childish, like her stuffed animal or pet. But I was okay with that, as long as it meant being with her. And then she came to me for help. The situation was dire, but it made me so, so happy. But it was fleeting. I knew nothing would come of it. I am hideous after all. Oh God, how could you be so cruel? I wish I never realized how I truly felt. Nothing happens, nothing's there. I wanted to live a plain, dull life. I wanted to die quietly, alone. And now, everything that's hurt me before means nothing. Everything that's hurt me before is nothing compared to the hurt I feel now. Oh God, why are you so cruel to me? She'll never love me. She's precious, pure, innocent, and beautiful. Why did you have to show her to me, God? I resent you, Creator. I curse you for this terrible fate you've given me. No. No, I can't. That's not the truth. I... I am grateful to God. I... I met you. My fate was meeting you. Kenny! Oh, oh mommy. I am truly happy. No. Kenny, you're kidding, right? Well, goodbye, Genny. Yeah, that- wait, what? Oh no, this was a shit ending, holy shit. Yeesh! What's this ending gonna be called? The fucking you suck at life ending or something? <laughs> my god. Yeah, I think that- I don't know. That felt really weird to me. There's not the- I don't really know how else to say it. It felt super- not forced, but... Everything could have been fine if Amame just didn't go out and shoot everybody. I mean, to be fair, why did the cops shoot a fucking person 
I mean, I guess they were disabled, or I guess they were stunned, so they had to make sure, but still. Uh, that was, you know, hmm. I don't know about that one. That was a little bit silly, if you ask me. Again in a mommy route. Yeah, that was pretty fucking depressing. <laughs> that was pretty sad, but the good thing is we have um, another couple routes here. So we actually have to go back to uh, Mr. Lien's route. And then after that, uh, we'll see what happens. That was pretty sad. <laughs> that was pretty fucking de depressing. Eh, yeah, whatever. That's fine. Let's go to the summary. Let's see. Target time. Didn't even know there was a target time. Interesting. Okay, so we have to do the sync again. And uh, pretty much we have to pick the other option this time, so... We have to pick the option that, um... I think it was between a gold and lead safe, if I remember correctly. So we need to pick the gold safe this time. Here's Aiba coming in like a fucking torpedo. Daniel Kivyat. Good thing is we did this we did this Somnium pretty recently, so I think I kinda remember what to do. Uh, let's see, so Brahmin. I think we have to go over there to the... Oh, this has a really cool soundtrack, yeah. The soundtrack in this game, though, super, super good. Let's not break it open. Where do we get the keyhole from? Open with the pull tab, shake the can. Okay, that was a waste of time. This one, I think we finished this, like, with, like, one second ago. Nice. 0809. Uh, let's see. Try to remember what else I have to do here. That's a little bit later. Okay, I think we just go to the safe. Try to open the safe. Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember what we have to do here. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Yeah, no, Peter. I know, man. I kind of wish, kinda wish there was checkpoints in the Somnium. Or at least they let you have more than one save file. That's the thing, they don't let you have... For some reason, they don't let you have more than one save file. Okay, there's the there's a lockpick. I think I'm just going to restart this, actually. Um, yeah. I think we'll just restart the Somnium, because I already wasted a bunch of time. This is a good time to think about that ending, though. I mean... I think the ending was okay. I mean, if you ask me, it seemed... I don't know. I don't know. I didn't like that ending for some reason. I think it felt too forced. Like, it felt like, eh. Like, compare that to the Komeji ending with, uh, Shoma. Doesn't really feel... <laughs> that one felt a lot more natural, I guess you could say. Okay, I'll be taking this. Let's go open the safe. Got some money. Woohoo! Let's go pull the pull thing on this door so we get the code. Um, you can pick it open too. Or not, never mind. Okay, so now we gotta find the next safe. Next safe should be right here. Uh, this would take a long time to open. Where was the other code again? Oh god, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember where the other code was. Mizuki, oh. you have five minutes left. Hmm. Let's see, anything down here? I don't think there was. Actually, it was a voice. Oh yeah, it was a voice. Tempted? I, I, I can't. I can't pick it open. If we pick it open, it's just gonna take way too long. It's gonna take way too much time out of our thing. I'm gonna make a save. Oh god, this is. Oh man, I need, to, I need to remember how I did this last time. Just kind of forgot completely, which is my fault, obviously. Inspect, inspect. 
Um, copper safe. I think we just have all the codes we have now. Maybe, maybe it's only a four-letter code. Is she on the door? This Let's... Um, I'm just gonna get the guide out for this one. Yeah, fuck this. Where's that Google Docs document I had? Get to listen to some banging music in the meantime, though. Docs. Uh, here we go. AI2 Visual Game Guide. Nice. Thank you. And what's the name of this uh, one? Oh god. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Neurotic Inception? Could be this one. Nope. Uh, no Nary Incognito? Nope. Rooftop? Nope. Most of these... Okay, I found it. Novel Ingress. Uh, 0708. Oh, we were supposed to pick it open. Okay, so it's 0809... Um, apparently it's... I don't know if it's, I don't know if this is a code, but I'm put it any, anyway. Uh, th this guy definitely forgot a thing yeah, he did. Let's just try... Yeah, let's try this number. Hmm, definitely didn't cheat. Whoa! Huh? I must be an oracle. It opened? There are 10 million different combinations. How did you know? Hmm. <laughs> It was an educated guess based on logical theory. And that sounds wrong, but you are strangely persuasive. I'm a genius. My intuition scares me. Yeah, it should scare you too, Iba. It's kind of funny how the devs put some of this stuff in the game. It's kind of funny. <laughs> they should have been like, hmm, I sure hope the player isn't cheating right now. <laughs> Newsflash, I am cheating. Okay, so we have to start from the bottom. Nice, go to this next bucket now. You I remember the bucket. The bucket was pretty obvious. Okay, so that bucket we've done. Let me find some more buckets. Hmm, seems like this is the next bucket actually. Surprising, very surprising. Is that the safe we just picked open? Um, here we go. Open with voice. Kizzy's voice. My prince. Watashi no prince. Boku no prince. Actually, Boku is the in incorrect usage of, uh... It should be. Only, uh, apparently, okay, according to my Japanese teacher, <laughs> who is obviously in Japan, um, only guys can use Boku as a form of Watashi. Which I always found kind of interesting. It's kind of a good idea of how women fit into Japanese culture, sadly. <laughs> but that's not what we're going to be talking about, because that's fucking ridiculous. That's a really good song, though. I like the song Kissy does. Looking good, Iba. Okay, so now we can pick, um... You can do this. Now let's cho choose the golden safe. Yeah, we'll choose the golden safe. So this should give us... put us on another pathway. Which is, uh, kind of exciting. Hopefully this is... Maybe this will be a ending for Leon. That's kind of what I'm imagining. Probably the Kizzy and Leon ending. Uh, so bright. That was beautiful. Kizzy's dance cleansed my heart. Kizzy, I became a locksmith. I'm gonna work a clean and honest job. I'll wait however long I need to. My feelings won't change. Oh yeah, something else I want to point out. I think they did the faces really well in this game, because, like, 
you know, it's not a super high budget game, but the faces they've incorporated are super, super good. Like, they, they really show the emotion really well. Specifically with, I know it's Amame. Amame has some really good, really good facial expressions. Like, you can tell when she's fucking terrified. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy. Been faithful to Kizzy for a long time. This is a stack of cash? This is from Richie Leon, I cannot be with you anymore. That is what I mean. Goodbye. Why? Wait, Kizzy! I'm not worthy of her. I couldn't protect her back then. This is what we saw in the Wink Sink. The explosion from six years ago. He's really regretting it. It wasn't even his fault. I'm trash. I can't fly. I don't deserve to live. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Trouble falling from above. It must be linked to Leon's mental state. Mizuki, we need to do something for him. Quickly. Uh, okay. Well, let's let's uh, find what we have to do. Um, move this thing. Uh, okay, what can we do? Looks like we can only move this thing. There. Damn, Abe, you've been fucking working out, girl. You're able to do that. With this. This is their time capsule. There is a dial. The numbers on it range from 1 to 12. I suppose you open it by turning the dial. Turn clockwise, turn counter counterclockwise, bury it. Let's uh, turn it counterclockwise. That only takes three seconds. I don't think it will open. This isn't right, is it? Okay, is there any other things around here that can tell us? Ooh, nice no eyeball. Way. Nice eyeball -y. Let me see if there's any other eyeballs around here real quick. I don't, I don't want to miss out on them. There's so many outfits I want to get. It's a time capsule with a Let's um, pick it open. There is no keyhole to pick. I guess picking isn't always the answer. It's a time capsule- Let's um... Mm, I guess we could turn it clockwise. Maybe that'll get Liam, Liam in better spirits. It turned six times and it stopped. And inside. The glass slippers that Liam gave to Kizzy. His feelings for Kizuna have not wavered. They are still true. I'm not worthy. Lian, you were both so happy, laughing with each other before. Get yourself together. How long are you gonna be like this? What is this? Sorry. How the fuck is he okay? Sorry, That's a good question. That was scary, huh? Are you hurt? I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you. Is that a heart? Maybe it symbolizes Leon's love. Leon, do you want to just give up? I'm... I... To what? 
Confidence, Kizuna, Future. God, um, Kizuna's key. I don't fucking know. Leon, you have Kizuna. Nope, wasn't meant to be. Kizuna doesn't like criminals, like me. Uh, this key isn't working. Let's try the confidence key. Be confident, Leon. Your lock picking Don't say that. That's not what he gives a fuck about. No. That's not the right thing to say. That's not gonna work either. But that talent led me to a life of crime. Uh, this key isn't working. Leon, you may have been a criminal in the past, but you paid for your crimes. You cannot be held prisoner by your past. What's important is the future. I committed a crime. I can't change that fact. But I decided I'm gonna live a clean life from now on. I'm going to make my future. What are you doing? Don't let him do it, Leon. Don't let him do it, man. Iba, the next key. Um, keys in his key, confidence key, confidence key. Have confidence in yourself, Leon. Leon. You are a genius. Don't say that. Oh my fucking god. Think of how many this is not what you're, you're supposed to be skill. saying. Be confident. That's not going to be the right one. Stop talking about his fucking lock picking. Oh, it was the right one. I see. Yeah. I should make something out of this talent. I'll live a good life. I'm gonna help people who need locks open. Cheer you up. What? You probably want me to say, it's okay, Leon. Kizuna loves you too. If so, you truly are a weak man. D hey, Iba. No, let me talk. Leon, you believe you failed? You believe you couldn't protect the person most precious to you? Then you try again. You protect her again. You keep trying until the day you die. You're not worthy of Kizuna? Then become a man worthy of her. If you are going to pity yourself and give up your dreams at the slightest obstacle, then I suppose you really don't care about your life or Kizuna's. That's not... <laughs> the last key is inside you. I am not going to open it. It has to be you. <laughs> I'm... No matter what happens, no matter what people say, I... She... Kizuna... I love her! Ah! 
can't walk or dance I will become your wings I was born to protect you I'm sure of it and no matter what hardships lie ahead I will protect our bond I will protect you for all eternity hmm a happy ending wait what about information on the HB case uh, well, it is a sinker's job to get close to the heart. Jeez, I don't even know what to say. You forgot about the other ending already, Masuki? The other ending where we saw Gen die? <laughs> I think we learned plenty about the HP case in that one. Nice, 95 eyeball, eyeball scans. Had some time left too. Yeah, that one takes up way less time than the other one. The other one takes up, like... <laughs> the other one was, like, the last second, I think. Based on what I... From what I can remember. Not too bad. Not too bad. Spill it already! I know you saw something that has to do with the case! That's what I would be yelling at you. Mizuki, that's exactly what you yelled at him. After seeing the Somnium, my game is a little off. Somnium? I looked into your dreams, Leon. Using a special device. All I saw in there was, I love Kizzy! Kizzy, I love you! That's it. Nothing important. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what happens. What phenomenon do you like? Um, let's see. Phenomenon. Apparently there's a reset button. Wait, what the fuck does a reset button do? Uh, Poltergeist, Ectoblasm, we like near-death experiences, apparently. That's not really what I like, but that's fine. What do you think, who out of all the characters, this is a fun question, out of all the characters here, who do you think you're most alike? Maybe you're an Aiba. Maybe you're an Amame. Maybe you're a Booba. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Maybe you're an Iris. Maybe you're a Hitomi. It's kind of an interesting question, isn't it? Um, what am I good at? Or what would I be? Oh god, probably Date. I don't even think it's close. I think Date is literally the closest character I think I've ever experienced in a video game. <laughs> Dangerously close to a lawsuit. Okay, I haven't, I haven't done that. Heart full of bravery, love, and justice. I mean, kind of. Always thinking dirty thoughts. I'm not always thinking dirty thoughts. Just a little bit, but not too much, you know? A healthy amount for somebody my age. Normally, Insomnia, you can see a person's true colors, who they really are. But you are different, Lian. Who you are on the outside is exactly who you are on the inside. So, can you let me go? Now you know that I have nothing to hide, right? A freaking course! I love her more than the Soyuz! Or any space shuttle for that matter! What kind of comparison is that? Like I said, I didn't see anything. There has to be a mistake. Fine. Let's hold off on what you saw earlier. But I do have a favor to ask. You want me to pick that lock? But I said I'm not gonna do that. I already told you, I'm not unlocking anything for anyone anymore. No matter what? Yeah. What if I told you I'll give you a whole photo album of Kizzy? Uh, uh, nah. In order to access the staircase, we need Liam's skills. I can't get a warrant. It's a pain in the ass and it'll take too long. It would also cause too much of a disturbance to destroy the door with heavy machinery. We need to keep this simple and quiet. So we need to convince Lian. Correct. 
Come on, Leon. I know you want to, buddy. I know you're just so desperate. You're so absolutely desperate to unlock that door for me. You guys don't have fucking caller ID? Due to an improvement made a few years ago, the words in the synchrous brain can be com converted into voice data and sent via phone line. Which is why Leanne couldn't hear Mizuki words this time. Yeah, but... Okay. Yeah, okay, whatever. You know, by the way, Aiba has, like, so much less trivia than Tama. It's kind of interesting to think about. Like, she has so much less. What's with her? I don't know. But I have the video. I'm opening it. Father! How could you do this? There's nothing wrong with a parent caring for a child. If you continue to protest, I will force the issue. He's an ex-convict. You don't know what he's capable of. With a snap of my fingers, I could get him arrested again. No! Kizuna. Think about it. This is what's best for the both of you. What was that? Unknown, but it looked similar to a wink sink. Okay, putting aside the masked woman part, let's just say the video is real. It seemed to be Kizuna being threatened by her father, Richie, to break up with Lian. But that's so mean! Hey, uh... You've been quiet a long time. Leon, listen. Hold on, Mizuki. Don't tell him about the video. We may be able to use it as a bargaining chip. Okay. Leon, um, if you agree to my favor, I'll share something you will really want to know. Something I'd want to know? Yeah, it's about Kizzy. This is totally crazy. The cathedral is completely rebuilt. Six years is enough time for that. With Nye's finances, that is. So, what are we doing here? Ah, well... Well, you see, <laughs> good question. And also, the end of the video. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. So, we found the Gen and Amame ending, and probably what I imagine will be the Kizuna Kisuna and Lien ending, uh, which is probably what we're doing right now. So pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty um, pretty happy with how this has been going. So yeah, we shall continue this next time. And in the meantime, just want to see how many Somnias we've done. Looks like we've done about let's see three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Holy shit, twelve. Yeah, we've actually done quite a lot of Somnias, which is... It's kind of surprising how many we've done. I don't know how many were in the first game, but it, it feels like uh, they definitely have more gameplay in this one. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it, as always, and I shall see you for the next video. Toodles.